G'day everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today is part three of the series where we're making a cable cam that can run through the bush and get super cool shots of us riding our bikes. Today is gonna to be the most exciting day for me personally because we're actually gonna be taking this out into the bush and getting shots riding my bike. So we're gonna be heading out to a location with my brother and I'm really excited, so let's get straight into it. So we've come out to our spot where we're going to be doing our shooting. We're just going to take all of our bikes and all of our camera gear in there. And then we're going to start setting up the line so we can start getting these cable cam shots. It's, uh, it's actually kind of perfect. Right now the lighting is absolutely flawless. We've got some really good cloud cover. So instead of having the really harsh lighting that we had yesterday, some really soft shots with no real harsh shadows. And it's going to look really, really cool. I think this is going to be a good day for it. So we're out here in the bush, at least on the track that we're going to use. So we're doing a bit of scouting for a location where we can actually run the cable cam without having any, any trees in the way, which is proving to be a bit harder than I thought because the bush is super, super dense. So we're going to have a bit of a further walk down the track to see if there's any spots that can work. It'd be sick to run one through here. I'm seeing a passage. Yeah, I don't have to be ducking under the thing. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to go. Yeah, there's a path that goes straight down the guts here. From like this tree, all the way up to behind the camera, yeah. All right, let's try that. It's definitely gonna be the best bet. But we need to keep it like up really high so I don't hit my head on it. I think we've found a possibility. It's gonna be running all the way from up here. And the section's probably gonna be maybe 50, I reckon 50 meters long. And um, I'll show you. So it goes from this tree right here. And then I'm gonna point where the line will go. It's gonna go straight through there, past all these trees. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but you see how there's like two trees that are kind of like joined to each other. We're going to fish out the line. Hopefully we'll be able to make this work. It's going to be pretty tricky, but we'll see how we go. So we've done a round turn. So we've just set up our line at the very top. And we've tightened it up nice and tight. And we're going to be carrying the line all the way down to the bottom and hopefully we'll be able to make a good attachment point and use the ratchet strap down there to make it as tight as possible so then we can start getting shots of bug on me. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get into that. Okay, that was a bit of a mission, but we finally got a lineup. It's probably not as high as I'd like it to be, and it's probably gonna sag a little bit. But I think just for the sake of not wasting any of our time, we're gonna run a line down it, we're gonna run our cable cam down it, and just see how it goes, because I don't really wanna have to have come out here for nothing. The reason why I've got towels hanging over the end is because we don't have anyone to catch it at the bottom, and there's no like brakes on this thing, so it's just gonna be going down this hill fairly quickly, I'm gonna be guessing, and then uh, we don't want it to be damaging the camera when it hits the end of the line. So we've got towels as kind of like brakes so that when it hits the other end, it'll stop a bit more safely than if we didn't have them. So now we're gonna be chucking our wooden cable cam uh, trolley onto it to see if it runs down before we even put anything else on it. So let's get straight into that. I think this is going to be our first official test. I'm going to give it a little push. Three, two, one. Hold oh, on. Yes! It didn't seem to be uh, too slow. I was expecting it to be a lot slower than that, but it flew super fast. It didn't sag too much. And now we're like oh, having a bit of a problem pushing it up the hill. So I got the, got the stick pushing it up. So I think the next step for us is going to be putting the 
gimbal onto it and then we'll be able to put the camera on and hopefully get some shots of us riding down the bush. So I'm getting really excited. Run. No. We're going to be dropping in three, two, one. Yo, so that is sick. All right, so this is going to be our first look at the footage. We haven't seen it yet. It looked like it survived the hit pretty well. Oh, oh, that looks so cool. Imagine me riding through there. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. All right, safety wise, do you reckon it's going to hit me in the head? If you're under it. I think just so long as you like drop it late enough. If he drops it right as I'm coming around the corner, it takes a second to get going. So if he drops it as we're going around the corner, I think we should be good. Um, I just need to be mindful the first few tries to not like clothesline myself on the line. But um, other than that, I think we might be ready to take it up and start actually doing some shoots with me in the shot. So this is where it really starts getting exciting. Let's have a go at that. So it's actually on the line at the moment and we just did our first few tests and super, super excited. It's looking sick. We just need to like dial in our timing and maybe even some of our zooming to make sure that it looks as cool as possible. So we're going to keep on having goes at it. We just finished up a shoot here with our new cable cam setup and I reckon it was a success. We got some really cool shots, but it definitely wasn't exactly what I was thinking. I was expecting it to be a lot faster and I was expecting the shots to be from a few different angles, but that's how it comes up here and how it comes out on the track is always going to be different. So some of the shots we got, we did some from behind looking, looking towards my back and then other ones we did, they were looking back up towards us. And it was, it was a mixed bag. We got some successes and we got some failures, but I think it was all a learning experience. So it was, it was definitely a win in my books, no matter what. Next time, it'd be good to make the line a bit steeper and make sure that the line isn't going over my head like this time, because I found that I was either running the camera out or I was just catching up to it straight away, which isn't exactly what we want. Alternatively, we would be able to put it beside the track so that we wouldn't be having the issue of hitting it on my head because there were a couple runs where I actually scraped my head on the line, which wasn't exactly ideal and is pretty dangerous. So hopefully we can sort that out. Maybe iron out some of the wrinkles in this setup so that maybe in a future video, we can start doing this in different places with different environments and make it work a bit better. Alrighty, so we're back home after a really long day in the bush. It took so much longer than I was expecting. It ended up taking almost three hours to set the whole camera up, 
get the whole line running. We actually had to rejig it a couple times to make sure that it was going to work properly. But in the end, we got some shots that I'm super happy with. This is all progress for me. As for the next few videos, I'm not sure how it's going to go, but definitely stay tuned. I'm going to be working on a couple projects and maybe there might be a shot from the cable cam featured, but I think this is an absolute success. I'm so glad you could come along with me for this journey. Uh, my Instagram is right here. It is Ryan Gilchrist 73 and I look forward to seeing you in the next video whenever that might come up. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and that's pretty much all I got to say. So I will catch you later.